Tom Brunnen took centre stage ahead of his last Paris-Roubaix on Sunday with the four-time record winner in the 120-strong field about to take on the gruelling 29 cobbled sections in the 250 kilometres of a race that's not nicknamed the Hell of the North for nothing. After 100 kilometres punctuated by a number of falls in the peloton, the first attempt at imposing a rhythm at the front of the field began with three men setting the pace. The large of the Francaise des Jeux team and two Belgian riders, Vandenberg of AG2R and Wallais of the Lotto Soudal team. The trio broke away before the first cobble section and helped the field cover 143 kilometres in three hours, putting themselves on course to record the fastest Paris-Roubaix ever. Back in the peloton, Greg van Avermaet was one of the first to be tripped up in the Valors section of cobbles, while up ahead Bonin tried to accelerate and put some distance between himself and his rival. Van Avermaet managed to get himself back in touch with 84 kilometres to go and a group of big hitters broke away, including Bonin and Peter Sagan. Before the cobbled section at mont en pavel Daniel Oss and Jasper Stuven took up the pace, but with Jenek Stibar driving them on, the lead group and that containing the favourites were united 40 kilometres from the line. With 15 kilometres to go at the tree crossroads, the decisive move was made as three men managed to break clear. Among them, two of the favourites, Van Avermaet and Stibar, with Cannondale rider Sebastian Langevelt in tow. They had a comfortable lead coming into the velodrome in Roubaix, though two men, Moscon and Steuven, came back at them to make it a five-man race. Stibar started the sprint, but it was Van Avermaet who finished it, pipping his rival on the line. A first win for him, Stibar second again in Roubaix. Boonen, on his swan song, finished outside the top ten. Greg Van Avermaet is just unbeatable in 2017 and is cleaning up in the Spring Classics. Having already won the Grand Prix E3, the Gond Vavelgem and the Het Neusblad, the Olympic champion added the Paris-Roubaix to his list of honours after finishing third two years ago. The BMC rider still has some major ambitions in the coming days, notably the Tour of Flanders, a race he finished runner-up in in both 2014 and 2015. If he can fulfil his dream of winning the Ronde, he'll have already made this year an exceptional one. It's uh, maybe the race I would say I was not able to win. Uh, when I first came here, I was so tired at the finish line. And it was not, uh, not really what I was expecting, but uh, yeah, I'm so happy that I did it. Greg Van Avermaet finally wins in Roubaix after coming close in recent years. Just like in 2015, Stibar finishes second. Arno Demar led the peloton home, while Tom Boonen's final Paris-Roubaix ends with him in 13th. So the Flanders Classics end, as always in Roubaix. Now it's the turn of the Ardennes Classics, with La Fleche Vallon coming up next. For now though, do what the riders couldn't, and enjoy the sun and the countryside that provided a wonderful stage for the hell of the north. <laughs>